What's up creatives, Seb here. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create some zoom in transition effects in Premiere Pro. Now in this video, we have two zoom transitions you can use. So number one is going to be a zoom bounce in effect, which is great if you wanna overlay text or images in front of your footage. And transition number two is gonna be a zoom in, zoom out effect, which is great to transition between clips. Now just to make life a lot easier, we have the zoom transitions that you can download in the description down below. But I do recommend you watch this quick video just so you understand how to use it. Now, if you are new here, welcome. My name's Seb. This channel is all about videography, video editing, and photography. So if that sounds interesting to you, then do consider hitting the subscribe button and liking the video if you haven't already. But that's enough of that. Let's jump right into Premiere Pro and let me show you how to create these zoom transitions. So to start off with these transitions, I'm going to show you how you can use my ones which you can download in the description down below and then after I'll show you exactly how you can create them and customize them to your needs. Okay so to start off with the zoom transition all you're going to need are two pieces of clips so we have footage number one here and then footage number two then what you're going to want to do is get an adjustment layer so go to new item and do adjustment layer and then you just want to drag it on top of your clip. From the middle here you're going to want to cut it so once you've cut it in the middle, move three frames to the left and then cut it. Then come back to the middle and move six frames to the right and then cut it again. Then get rid of these clips because you don't need them. Now all you have to do is go to the creators pack right here and then on the zoom in, you put it on the left and then on the zoom out, you put it on the right. And then all you have to do is add a sound effect if you want. So we can just do that, add it in the middle and then press play. And then you've got your zoom in effect. All good to go. So as you just saw, we did that in literally 20 seconds. So it's really easy to use these transitions. Let's go ahead and create the second bounce effect. So this one's a little bit more complicated, but it's also really easy to do. So just add your image right here. And then you're going to want to add a adjustment layer on top. And then you want to count 15 frames to the right and then delete the adjustment layer. Now all you have to do is go to the bounce zoom effect and then just add it on top of the adjustment layer. And then once you've done that, you can drag your adjustment layer to the duration of your clip and then select your adjustment layer and your picture and then just press nest. Now all you have to do is add a sound effect or press play and your transition is good to go. So as you saw, it was really easy to use these transitions, but let's dive into it a little bit just in case you want to customize it to your needs. So we'll start off with the zoom in and zoom out transition. So here we have the adjustment layers and these transitions were made with the transform effect, which you can find under the video effects, distort and transform. So what I mainly used on this effect is the scale factor and then something else. So the transform effect starts with 100 on the first keyframe and then on the last keyframe, if we just extend this a little bit, just where it cuts, you'll see that it ends at 300. And what we added on these keyframes is just a continuous bezier. So it starts at the bottom and meets up to the top. And then we do the same thing with the bottom one, but we do it in reverse. So it starts with 300 and then ends with 100. And we also use the continuous bezier just so it peaks at the top and then ends at the bottom. So if you wanted to customize these, you could just move the keyframes to make it a little bit longer or shorter. And what we did to add the motion blur is we just went to, we unticked the use composition shutter angle and then we added 180 just to add a little bit of motion blur as you can see. So that's how you can create your own zoom in and zoom out effect. You can customize it a little bit more if you want. Now let's go ahead and look at the bounce transition. So it's the same thing, we use the transform effect, but what we did here, we started it off with minus one and then we moved about eight keyframes and we added a scale of 85. And then three keyframes later, we toned it down to 70 scale. And then three keyframes later, we added the scale plus five. So it jumped up to 75. We also used the composition shutter. We ticked that off and added 360. And then at the start, we had the opacity slider to zero. And then three or four keyframes later, we added it to 100. Now remember, it's really important to nest the picture and the adjustment layer when using the bouncing effect, otherwise you'll get some black bars. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, do leave a like. Don't forget, you can download the transitions in the description down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.